For centuries, millions have gazed upon the Shroud of Turin, believing it holds the image of Jesus Christ, a ghostly imprint, a silent witness to history. But what if we could strip away the layers of time and see the real face behind the cloth? Recent breakthroughs in artificial intelligence have reconstructed the most precise likeness yet, and the results are astonishing. This discovery has ignited debates among historians, scientists, and theologians. Some believe it strengthens the case for the Shroud's authenticity, while others insist it raises more questions than answers. So, what exactly has AI uncovered? And more importantly, what does this mean for history, faith, and science? Before diving into what AI has revealed, let's first explore the deep and controversial history of the Shroud of Turin. The first confirmed historical record of the Shroud dates back to 1354, when it was displayed in Lire, France, by a French knight named Geoffroy de Charny. However, many believe the Shroud's origins trace back much earlier, to the very first century AD. Could the Shroud be the burial cloth of Jesus? The Gospel of John, 1940, describes Jesus being wrapped in a linen burial cloth after the crucifixion. Legend suggests the Shroud was secretly transferred from Jerusalem to Edessa, modern-day Turkey, and later to Constantinople, before disappearing during the Fourth Crusade. 1204 AD. The Carbon Dating Controversy In 1988, carbon dating tests conducted by laboratories in Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona dated the Shroud to 1260-1390 AD, suggesting a medieval origin. Skeptics dismissed the relic as a forgery created during the Middle Ages. However, more recent studies challenge these findings. Pollen analysis suggests the cloth originated from the Middle East, not medieval Europe. Textile research indicates the linen weave is consistent with fabrics from first century Palestine. The 1988 tests may have been compromised by fire damage from the 1532 Chambery Cathedral fire which could have altered the carbon readings. Now, with the emergence of AI-driven forensic reconstruction, a new chapter unfolds. For the first time, AI has revealed a clear, undistorted version of the face imprinted on the shroud. Key features identified. A Middle Eastern facial structure, matching forensic descriptions of a first-century Jewish man. Deep-set eyes, a strong nose, and a solemn expression, features that align with early Christian descriptions of Jesus. Visible injuries. The forehead and cheeks show wound patterns consistent with crucifixion. The eyes debate. Some artistic renditions of the shroud suggest the eyes were open but AI reconstruction confirms they were closed, suggesting this was a burial imprint. Comparing this AI-generated face with centuries of Christian art, we notice something striking. The image challenges traditional westernized portrayals of Jesus seen in Renaissance paintings. But how reliable is this reconstruction? Dr. Giulio Fanti, professor at the University of Padua, argues that the Shroud's imprint contains three-dimensional information, something no known medieval technique could achieve. He believes that AI's reconstruction is the most accurate depiction yet of the man wrapped in the Shroud. However, others remain cautious. Dr. Andrew Casper, an expert on religious imagery, warns that AI reconstructions should not be mistaken for absolute truth. 
as any algorithm relies on input assumptions that can shape the final result. But one thing is undeniable. This discovery is changing how we see history. A more historically accurate representation. For centuries, Jesus has been depicted in European art with lighter skin, wavy brown hair, and delicate features. This AI reconstruction offers a more scientifically plausible image of a Middle Eastern man from the first century. Could this reshape how Jesus is represented in religious art and teachings? A new approach to biblical history. This AI-powered reconstruction isn't just about the Shroud of Turin. It opens the door for similar reconstructions of other ancient relics. Could we use AI to examine the Sudarium of Oviedo, the Veil of Veronica, or other biblical artifacts? The ethical debate. Should AI be used for religious studies? As AI advances, it raises profound ethical and theological questions. Should we trust AI-generated images of sacred figures? Does this technology enhance faith or risk creating digital idols? Could AI be used to manipulate or rewrite religious narratives? Some religious leaders welcome AI's potential to bring clarity to ancient mysteries. Others caution against using AI in matters of faith, where belief should not be dictated by technology. One thing is clear. AI is not just reconstructing faces. It is reshaping historical and religious discourse. For centuries, the Shroud of Turin has remained one of history's greatest enigmas. Now, with the power of AI, we may have come closer than ever to seeing the face of the man behind the imprint. But what does this mean for us today? Does this reconstruction bring us closer to the truth or simply add another layer to the mystery? One thing is certain. This discovery is changing how we perceive one of history's most debated relics. What do you think? Does this AI-generated image change your perspective on the Shroud of Turin? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more deep dives into forgotten history and groundbreaking discoveries, don't forget to subscribe to The Forgotten Roots.